This is Steph. Steph's not having the best time today, nor is she in the best mood. Look at this grumpy face. This is Susie. She's not having the best day either, nor is she in a very good mood. So these two should get on like a house on fire. Let's watch. I haven't got time for this. I'll have to come back later. Do all that. Hi, uh, Steph. My name's Ted. So your nurse tells me that you don't want your obs done, is that right? Did your nurse tell you the importance of these checks? Okay. So, I can see that you don't like the sound of them, but can I tell you a little bit about them? Okay, so for your blood pressure, we put a cuff around your arm and it inflates. It doesn't hurt, but it does get tight, and it tells us if your blood pressure is low, high, or if it's just right. If it's low or high, then we can see what's wrong with you, or it gives us some clues and we can give you some medicine to make you feel better. No. N. O. Spells. No. Hi there. What's going on here? Uh, we're trying to do her obs. She doesn't want to have them. Yeah, I know that, but we can't just not do them. They're really important. Yeah, it's been very stressful for both of us. Since my husband left, I... I understand that, but it's really important that we get her blood pressure, her pulse, her temperature and her breathing. If we can't get a full set of obs, I'm going to have to escalate it because we can't take the risk of sepsis. Hi there. I heard we haven't had any luck with checks again. I spoke to the Learning Disabilities Liaison Nurse and she mentioned something about a traffic lights assessment form. Have you got one, Mrs Owens? What? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm, I might have one here. Hang on. Um, this? That's the one. Thank you, Mrs Owens. Okay, so I can see from this that Steph likes a bit of Iron Maiden. Ah, rock on, Steph. Uh, my favourite song for Iron Maiden is Run to the Hill, Steph. So we put that on and see if that makes you feel calm? <laughs> oh, sorry. Just listening to some East 17 because I like to kick it old school. Of course, not all patients are going to like Iron Maiden. I hate Iron Maiden. But the lesson is to try different tactics. Neurodivergent patients can present late, deteriorate quickly and struggle to say their signs and symptoms. Now, as we've already discussed, being patient gentle and slow paced can save you more time in the long run. Explaining the situation but in manageable chunks, pausing to allow processing time and checking understanding can make all the difference and save you time and in some cases lives. Now mum in that scene was having a bit of a tricky time wasn't she? Remember that having an unwell relative can render a person vulnerable and it can lead to delays in processing information brought on by stress. As frustrating as that can be, take loved ones with you on the journey of diagnosis and treatment.